Hi, I'm Harvey in New York City, a registered Republican my entire adult life, never voted for a Democrat. In 2016, I could see that Donald Trump was a horrible human being. I strongly believe that good character and judgment are crucial qualities in a president. And it was clear that Trump was plainly lacking in those attributes, making him unfit to serve in the office he was seeking. At that time, voting for a Democrat was a bridge too far for me, so I cast a write-in ballot. His term as president has been even more catastrophic than I could have imagined. This has been a direct result of his poor character, as well as his complete ignorance of and lack of curiosity about every subject. When faced with a crisis, he's completely unprepared and unable to formulate a sound response. Making things worse is his extreme narcissism and lack of empathy. His first impulse is never what's good for the country. It's always what will make him look good and enhance his reelection prospects. Trump campaigned on putting America first, but he has consistently put Donald J. Trump first. Those personality traits and motivations and his inability to handle a crisis were reflected in his horrific response to the pandemic, which has led to and continues to cause so much needless loss of American lives. But perhaps the most dangerous aspect of the Trump presidency has been his authoritarian streak he openly admires dictators like Vladimir Putin and Xi Jinping, and he wants to be like them. He personally attacks people who dare to disagree with him because he cannot tolerate dissent. Most chillingly, he attacks a free press and calls journalists the enemy of the people. He even threatened to sue CNN because he didn't like one of their poll results. That's the kind of behavior that I would expect from an authoritarian regime like Russia or China, but not in the America that I know and love. But Trump and his Attorney General Bill Barr have shown a complete disdain, not only for the First Amendment, but for the rule of law in general. You know, there's so much more that I could say here, but I've been asked to limit the length of this video. Bottom line though, he has already done incalculable damage and we the people must not allow him to do more. This is one election that I cannot sit out. This time, I must vote directly against Trump. And so in November, for the first time, I will be voting for a Democrat for president, Joe Biden.